So today I'm going to talk about urinary tract infection, UTI. It is a wrong term we are using, majority of doctors including me we are using UTI. But today we will divide the UTI into different parts and so that we can understand it is not actually the UTI. So the patient uh, with UTI is going to present with flank pain, dysuria, there will be burn, burning maturation, there will be fever, urgency, you know the patient, the, there will be sudden urge to urinate, okay, that is called urgency. In frequency, the patient is going to uh, urinate many times a day. Okay, so now, this is urethra, this is urinary bladder, this is ureter, and this is kidney. Okay, so now, inflammation of the urethra is called urethritis, and the most common cause for urethritis is chlamydia. It can also be caused by Neisseria, gonorrhea, or proteus. Okay, so the treatment for urethritis is a one gram single dose of azithromycin, and if we suspect also Neisseria, gonorrhea, we will give ceftriaxone. Now, for the complicated infection, like in male, if there is also epididymitis, we will use we will also use two week course of doxycycline. So we will use two week course of doxycycline, uh, which is available in Pakistan with the name kefibromycin, 100 mg, and two time a day for two week. Okay, now. <clears throat> for the cystitis, it's actually the inflammation of the urinary bladder is called cystitis and the most common cause for cystitis E. coli. It can also be caused by fruitus and clepsila. The patient representing with uh, urgency and frequency, okay, and the treatment for this uh, we use uh, cefaloxacin 500 mg two times a day. And now the phylonephritis, uh, the inflammation above the urinary bladder will be called phylonephritis. So the most common cause for phylonephritis and cystitis is the same like E. coli and protease and clepsila, but most common cause is E. coli. So the treatment is going to be same for the phylonephritis and cystitis. Just only the patient pre the patient presentation will be different. Like in the cystitis, the patient will present with urgency and frequency. It is related with the urinary bladder. That's why we say urgency and frequency. Now phylonephritis is related with the kidney. So the patient is going to present with fever, sepsis, and cast. Okay, whenever we see the cast then it means there is problem with the kidney now you see the urethritis it is actually most um, most common in female because of the short urethra okay so we have to understand uh, like this so now if there is only the patient present only with frequency and urgency we will we can't call it uti we will call it cystitis if the patient only present with dysuria burning maturation that is what we call urethritis okay so hope you will understand it